Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to show you, 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 how to learn cybersecurity as fast as possible in very few steps. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So let's begin. How can you get hands-on experience in cybersecurity? So here are some effective ways to gain hands-on experience in cybersecurity. So number one, set up a home lab environment, create virtual machines and networks to practice various cybersecurity techniques and tools safely. Number two, use online learning platforms like Track, uh, Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, and Cyber Defenders. These offer interactive labs and challenges to develop practical skills. Number three, participate in capture the flag competitions, right? Platforms like CTF Time list upcoming events where you can apply your skills in real world scenarios. Number four, explore open source security tools on GitHub. Many repositories offer practical exercises and tool sets to build your expertise. Number five, take advantage of free resources like Over the Wire and Open Security Training, which provide guided learning paths and hands-on exercises. Number six, join cybersecurity clubs or programs at your school if available. Some schools offer opportunities to work with their IT departments on real systems. Number seven, pursue internships and apprenticeships in cybersecurity. These provide valuable work-based learning ex um, experiences. Number eight, pra pra practice ethical hacking on platforms like Pentester Lab and Offer Web penetration testing exercises. Number nine, explore specialized courses like Metasploit Unleash, also known as MSFU, that cover specific cybersecurity frameworks and tools. Number 10, utilize YouTube tutorials and channels that offer step-by-step -step guidance on various cybersecurity topics and practical demonstration. Remember, <clears throat> to always practice ethically and responsibly, ensure you have proper permissions for any testing you undertake. Consistent practice and hands-on experience are key to developing your skills in cybersecurity. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So how can internships help in gaining hands-on cybersecurity experience? Internships are a valuable way to gain hands-on experience in cybersecurity. So let's talk about the ways, the several ways. Number one, real world experience practical application, right? Internships allow you to apply theoretical knowledge in real world settings. Tasks may include testing web application security, monitoring inbound security data, responding to security events, and conducting penetration testing. Number two, exposure to tools and techniques. Interns often work with network security monitoring tools, firewalls, antivirus software, and vulnerability scanners, providing practical experience with industry standard tools. Uh, skill development, right? That's that's another aspect of it, skill development. Number one, technical skills. Internships help develop technical skills such as scripting, automation, debugging, uh, malicious software, and accessing network vulnerabilities. And number two, another aspect is soft skills, which is very underrated. Soft skills. Working in a professional environment helps interns develop critical soft skills like problem solving, attention to detail, communication, and teamwork. Remember, you're going to be talking to people who are not, who may not be as tech savvy as you here's another aspect professional networking right number one very important mentorship interns work under the supervision of experienced professionals gaining insights and guidance that can be crucial for career development then you have industry connections internships provide opportunities to network with professionals in the field which can be beneficial for future job seekers and career advancement so let's talk about career exploration right number one understanding roles Internships provide exposure to various cybersecurity roles, helping interns understand different career paths within the field. Number two, career readiness. By working on real projects and tasks, interns become better prepared for full-time roles in cybersecurity, often making them more attractive candidates to potential employers, right? I call it the three education, certification, experience in cybersecurity. Those are those are the three really heavy hitters. And then enhancing employability, right? Number one, resume building. Internships add valuable experience to your resume, making you a more competitive candidate for future job opportunities. Number two, I just talked about it, right? Certifications and clearances. Some internships may require or help you obtain security clearances and certifications, further enhancing your employability. So, in summary, cybersecurity internships provide a comprehensive platform 
for gaining practical experience developing both technical and soft skills please don't discredit the soft skills and preparing for a successful career in the field so let's get into it right this is really that was an overview let's get into the meat and potatoes of this what can you do to learn cybersecurity fast 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 so while learning cybersecurity thoroughly takes time here are the several strategies you can employ to accelerate the learning process. Get A to Z quick. Number one, focus on fundamentals first. Start with networking basics, operating systems, and programming concepts as these form the foundation for more advanced cybersecurity topics. Number two, set aside dedicated time each day. Even 15 minutes of consistent daily study can lead to significant progress over time. Number three, use online learning platforms. Remember, we talked about this a little bit. Uh, try hack me, hack the box, cyber defenders. Try hack me, hack the box, try cyber defenders. Try hack me, hack the box, type cyber defenders. And Coursera offers structured cybersecurity courses and hands-on labs. Number four, practice ethical hacking, right? We talked about this. Engage in capture the flag challenges and bug bounty programs to apply your skills in realistic scenarios. Um, do you guys know some good ones? Please put it in the comment section below. So number five, set up a virtual lab, create your own environment to practice techniques and tools safely. Number six, join cybersecurity communities, participate in forums like Reddit's uh, cybersecurity uh, to learn you know, from others and stay updated on industry trends. Number six, pursue relevant certifications. Studying for certifications can provide a structured learning path and enhance your resume. Number eight, develop soft skills. Work on critical thinking, communication, and problem-solving abilities alongside technical skills. Number nine, use visual learning aids. Create mind maps to organize concepts and visualize connections between different cybersecurity topics. Number 10, interleave theory and practice, right? Alternate between learning concepts and applying them to reinforce your understanding. Remember, while these strategies can help you learn more efficiently, becoming proficient in cybersecurity still requires some time and consistent effort on your part. Focus on building a strong foundation and gradually expanding your knowledge rather than trying to rush through the learning process. So now that we got that out of the way, what types of projects can you uh, expect, right? To work on during like a cybersecurity internship because we, we, we emphasize internships. So, during a cybersecurity internship, you can expect to work on ver a variety, right, of projects that provide hands-on experience in different aspects of cybersecurity. Now, I'm about to talk about the common types uh, right now. Number one, you have network security monitoring, right, assisting in monitoring network traffic, analyzing security logs. Uh, and identifying potential vulnerabilities or suspicious activities. That's network security monitoring. Number two, vulnerability assessments. Now, conducting scans and assessments to identify weaknesses in systems and networks. That's an aspect. Number three, penetration testing, helping with controlled attempts to breach security measures to test their effectiveness. Number four, malware analysis, uh, dis dissembling, right? Disassembling and debugging malicious software to understand its behavior and potential impact. Number five, security awareness training, assisting in developing and implementing training programs to educate employees about cybersecurity best practices. Number six, incident response, because breaches happen, right? It's a reality, it's a harsh reality, it happens. So incident response. So participating in the process of responding to and mitigating security incidents. Number seven, web application security testing, evaluating the security Security of web applications and identifying potential vulnerabilities. Number eight, very important, firewall and antivirus management. Assisting in configuring and maintaining firewalls and antivirus software. Number nine, scripting and automation, which is developing scripts to automate security tasks and improve efficiency. 10, research projects, which is conducting research on emerging threats, vulnerabilities, and best practices in cybersecurity. Uh, lastly, we have uh, security policy development that's a very important one that is helping to create or update security policies and protocols for organizations so these projects provide interns with practical experience in applying cybersecurity co uh, concepts and tools in real world scenarios the specific projects you work on may vary uh, depending on the organization and focus of your internship right so that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. Once again, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.